In today's video, I'm going to show you 21 effective tips to live below your means that really work. Number one, sell things you don't need. How many things can you count in your vicinity that you probably could sell and not miss? Well, each of those things could be a little extra money in your bank that can be used to grow your wealth. Sometimes living below your means is making your means a little bigger. Number two, rent items. My partner and I are planning to build some raised garden beds and garden fences this year, and we don't have a round saw. Instead of purchasing one, it's significantly cheaper for us to rent it for a few days to finish the project, especially considering that we won't need it after that. Number three, return anything you regret buying. No matter how frugal you are and how well you live below your means, you'll find that you'll buy items you regret buying. However, instead of just holding on to the purchase, take advantage of the returns policy and either get your money back or store credit. It's some extra effort to return items, but it really does make a difference. Number four, repurpose your clothes. Something I've always wanted to do is to make new clothes with the clothes I currently have. If you take a second to think about it, there is an unbelievably large amount of clothes around you. The average person owns 148 pieces of clothing, and if we assume there are four people per house, with an average population size of 50,000, then the city roughly owns 29,600,000 items of clothing collectively. Oh, and not to mention that about 100 billion items of clothes are made each year. So, do you really need more clothes? Number five, automate savings. Remembering to save money on top of everything else, like bringing your kids to their respective extracurricular activities, work stuff, shopping of all sorts, and paying bills is a lot. So reduce your stress, live below your means, and build wealth by automating savings, which the majority of banks offer now. Number six, have date nights at home. It's important to enjoy quality company with your partner to foster a healthy relationship, and there's nothing better than a date night for that. From a fancy dinner to popcorn and a movie, the options are endless. Number seven, get a part-time job. This isn't an option for everyone, but for those with a little extra time and skills, consider increasing your means by getting a part-time job. Having a little extra money every month can make a huge difference in your savings and budget plan. Number eight, downsize. It doesn't look like the housing market is going to slow down at all, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're looking to make some major savings and get your finances on track, Consider downsizing your home temporarily. You'll get a boost from selling your home and you'll have a much more affordable situation. Number nine, limit your credit card usage. We all know the negative sides of credit cards, but we can't deny that they can be incredibly useful when used well. However, in a time when you're trying to live below your means, it's imperative to limit your credit card usage and stick to cash. Number 10, use money-making apps. With technology growing, there are more and more ways for people to make some extra money through money-making apps. Some notable examples are Swagbucks, which primarily works by paying you for taking surveys, and Mistplay, which pays you to play games. I've used both of these, and while the earnings aren't amazingly quick, they can help pay for a tank of gas once a month, which is already a lot. Number 11, Grow your own veggies. I've been growing my own veggies for about three years now, and even though I'm in a northern climate, it's made substantial differences in our finances, since we essentially don't have to buy produce for three plus months. In fact, it reduced our grocery bills by about 15 to 20%. That's like saving $60 on $400 worth of groceries. Number 12, find low cost entertainment. Living frugally doesn't mean not spending any money at all. It means making the most of your money, and sometimes buying slightly more expensive items with a one-time cost 
can help you save and live below your means. For example, my partner and I bought two blow-up kayaks and it's provided endless entertainment for us for two summers already. So instead of eating out, drinking more frequently, or spending money in the city, we save by exploring amazing places near us. Number 13, reduce meat consumption. Meat is overrated. I know some may disagree, but when you start cooking with foods like beans, legumes, and tofu more frequently, you may quickly realize the amazing flavors you've been missing. One of my favorite dishes is a chili made by my partner that uses no meat, but lentils, black beans, and kidney beans. Number 14, wash your hair every other day. This really depends on your hair type, but chances are you can at least get away with one day without having to wash your hair. Initially, you'll find your hair is rather oily, but after just a few weeks, you'll notice your hair regulates itself. For some, they can even go several days before they have to wash their hair again. The great thing about this is that you can really save a lot of money on shampoo. For example, if you reduce your hair washing routine by half, then you're effectively extending the life of your shampoo by double, which in turn extends the dollars you spend on it by double the amount too. Number 15, collect rainwater. This is an overlooked resource that can drastically reduce so many areas that we spend a lot on water. For example, you can use rainwater to flush your toilets instead of manually flushing, saving gallons upon gallons of water every month. Another use can be for watering your lawn and your gardens. You can also wash your car. Another amazing tip that should only be used if you're certain is that you can filter your rainwater and use it for drinking. If you can get away with this, think about how far you can live below your means, but almost remove all water payments. Number 16, reuse plastic grocery bags. I'm guilty of having tons of old plastic grocery bags until most stores in my area have totally removed them to push people to use reusable bags. We could just throw these bags away, but they still have tons of uses. For example, we use them as garbage bags in our bathrooms and bedrooms, which just saves money on having to buy garbage bags at the store. For those who don't care about looks, and if you have the space, Grocery bags are effective pots that you can use to plant veggies. Number 17, order groceries for pickup. My partner and I have been doing this for quite a few months now, and not only is it more convenient, but it also prevents us from buying anything unnecessary. Having the option to take our time choosing what food we want helps us avoid impulse buying. Of course, the biggest concern is what we are paying to use a grocery pickup. Well, we use Walmart for most of our groceries and their pickup model is totally free. It's helped us continuously live below our means and it can help you too. Number 18, take advantage of free days at museums. When I used to live closer to a major city and I wanted to do something fun with my friends, I would throw the idea out of going to museums on Thursdays, which was the free admissions day. It provided a lot of fun for us and we didn't have to spend a single penny. With a little bit of resourcefulness and research, you can still have tons of fun without going above your means. Number 19, find free parking and walk. This was something that I did very often because parking in certain areas can be extremely expensive. However, parking just a few hundred meters away or up to a few kilometers away for free and walking gave me both exercise and allowed me to not spend my money unnecessarily. The truth is that you always have to do a bit of extra work when you want to live below your means, but it's always worth it. Number 20. Only eat out with specials. One of the best deals was a half price wing day at a restaurant nearby. This was the only time I really went out to eat with my friends because we could eat to our heart's content without the guilty feeling of spending way more than we should. If you want to live below your means and don't want to give up eating out, always ask about the specials and only eat out on those days as a treat. 
Number 21. Enjoy cheap activities with friends. One of my favorite things to do with friends was play football, frisbee, or play volleyball at the beach. The best part was that it was loads of fun, took up the whole day, and since we packed our snacks, it was essentially free entertainment. It was perfect for living below my means while my budget was tight. Get creative with your friends and find fun ways to hang out without spending. <laughs>